Our drone journey started about three years ago with a vision. In this vision, we saw a network of autonomous drones doing beyond visual line of sight flights several times a day above the port area, collecting data and generating alerts. And in that way, we could get a better overview of our situational awareness in the port. In 2019, we had the opportunity to be part of the EU project Safir. The goal of this project was to have simultaneous, beyond visual line of sight flights above a complex industrial site like the port of Antwerp. The project was successful because stakeholders from different industries were involved, such as the government, the business partners and the tech providers. Based on the lessons learned, at the end of 2020, we decided to make a drone roadmap for the next three years. The roadmap consists of four domains. Our role as a regulator, our role as an operator, cooperation with the safety partners, and finally, our innovation platform. In our role of regulator, Europe mandated us to be Geozone Manager. In the role of Geozone Manager, we are responsible to coordinate safe drone flights above the port area. To fulfill our role as a Geozone Manager in a professional way, we implemented as first port in the world an unmanned traffic management system. We realized this together with our partner Unifly. In this digital and fully automated platform, drone operators have the possibility to request permissions for flights in the port area. As a port authority, the UTM platform allows us to coordinate these different flights in a more safe and efficient way. To go even further in this safety coordination, we implemented, together with our partner Senive, drone detection and monitoring infrastructure. This allows us to get a real-time view of drone traffic in and above the port area. In our role as a drone operator, we tested several potential use cases, such as oil spill detection, the detection of floating debris, incident management and infrastructure inspections. We tested these use cases in collaboration with various partners and we used different types of drones, such as visual line of sight flights with our partner EMSA, automated drone in a box solutions from our partner Drone Matrix, and tests with fixed wing high altitude drones with our partner SAPCA. Building upon the experiences of these use cases, we placed a tender into market in which we are looking for a partner to supply us with a port-wide operational drone-as-a-service platform for the next three years. We will start implementing this platform of automated drones in the first quarter of 2022. In our cooperation with the safety partners, we are looking into the possibility of sharing data, knowledge, but also hardware. Together, we tested several use cases in the domain of incident management, such as man overboard, an industrial fire, and the rescue of a person in need on top of a windmill. Recently, we used these experiences in a real fire incident which happened in the port area. The Port of Antwerp drone team supported the fire department by streaming live footage of the fire over a 5G network. The drone images were a combination of standard RGB images and infrared footage. This made it possible for the fire department to have a more efficient way to attack the fire. In the domain of drone innovation, we are experimenting with new technologies such as computer vision and smart cameras to automatically detect oil spills and floating debris. The cleaning of oil spills actually costs us more than a million euros on an annual basis. By using these new technologies, we will be able to detect oil spills much faster and reduce the cost of cleaning. So, in 2022, we will realize our initial vision of having a network of autonomous drones above the port area. This because we strongly believe in the added value drones can offer in port operations. This will only be possible if we keep on collaborating with all of the stakeholders. But much more important that we actually do things in an operational way and share the lessons learned. 
so that we can address future challenges that will be ahead.